brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. After putting in 25 plus years of hard work in public service, government officials can all agree that one condition makes it all worth it. Retirement. Unfortunately for GMH employees who have dedicated more than two decades to the island's only public hospital, reaping their retirement rewards could soon no longer be an option. On Tuesday, the Gov Guam Retirement Fund issued yet another delinquent letter to hospital officials, reflecting over $2.5 million in contributions owed by the agency. If unpaid, hospital employees will be cut from receiving retirement benefits. Since January, similar letters have been sent to Director Peter John Camacho. Then he told KUAM the hospital was hoping to work together with the retirement fund to resolve the issue, a problem that has lingered now halfway through the year. If not resolved soon, the fund may have to take legal action against GMH. The year has been nothing short of a financial battle for the hospital. GMH administrators struggling with budget shortages, long-term funding, and recently a loss of accreditation from the Joint Commission. It remains unclear how and when or even if the hospital will be able to make payment on their dues. But until that happens, GMH will only continue to sink further into debt. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Kiani Mediola. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.